In this tutorial, we are going to explain the view menu and look at ways to quickly align our camera view. And we'll also look at saving custom made camera views you want to keep as a reference for drawing. So let's go to the view menu on the bottom of the screen and there we find the free look mode and field of view slider for the camera. These features are covered in this tutorial. But next to that, we see a few other buttons. If we go through them, you'll find that they correspond to the front view, right view, back view, left view, top view, and finally bottom view. To pose something in three dimensions, it is useful to align your view with the two dimensions you want to move the body part in. To make this a bit more clear, I will now align my camera to the front view by clicking on that button. If I now move one of the hands, I can do that along the left and right axis and the up and bottom axis, but not front and back. In other words, the hand stays more or less at the same distance to the camera. We cannot move it closer or farther away. So if we want to move the hand now in that third axis, it is best that we change our camera view to the left or right view. We can now move the hand in the front or back axis or in the up or down axis. But this time we can't move it in the left and right axis because our camera is now aligned to that one. In this example, I align the camera with one of the world axes. But you can of course align the camera with any direction in this 3D space. Just be aware that also in this case, we are moving the selected body part only in a plane parallel to the camera. Remember, we are not moving it closer or farther away from the camera view. So you can use these view buttons to quickly align the camera to one of those views. Also on standalone, we have a quicker way to do the same. Just hold the alt button on the keyboard and then move the camera left for the left view, right for the right view, down for the front view and up for the top view. The save view buttons also have another feature. If you press for more than two seconds on one of them, a little menu appears and there you can save any custom view you want to keep for later use. Let's say you are creating a scene and you already discovered a camera view you want to use later for your drawing. You can easily save it like this and always come back to it later. As a final note, you can also reset the saved view to the original preset by hitting the reset button. Check out the full playlist of mannequin tutorials here. And if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching.